looking at here is a foot pronation, otherwise sometimes called flat footed. And what I want to show you is the up the chain event. So foot pronation often goes hand in hand with internal rotation of the, um, the shin, internal rotation of the femur, the tibia, so the thigh, it goes up the chain. And I just want you to notice how her shins, it may be harder to see in the camera, but they're more pointing out to the sides. So each one of her shins is internally rotated, each one of her calves, shin area, and so the shins are pointing to the side. If I ask um, you to bend your knees just a little bit, good, and push your knees outward, really push them outward. Good. Now keep your knees pressing outward and begin to straighten your legs. You can see two things happening. Her calves have now come behind her and her feet have formed an arch. What does it feel like your feet are doing? Oh, curling. Curling. Arching? Mm -hmm. Like you, okay. Go back to how you normally stand. Could you see that rotation? Go back to the correction. Yeah. Go back to how you normally stand. So you can see her entire leg bone is changing as she makes that correction. I want to show you what happens when she puts her orthotic on. So what we can see is now she's got her shoe on with the orthotic, but it didn't change the orientation of her shins, calves, and femur. It's still the same. So bend your knees just a little bit. Do the correction, thighs open just a little bit, knees open just a little bit, maintain that, try to maintain that rotation even as you straighten your legs now. Now she's made the change in through her legs. So the orthotics are fine, they're okay. I'm not talking about them being good or bad. However, the issue is, go back to how you normally stand, yeah, you can see the rolling of her legs. Her legs continue to roll inwards, sending her calves outwards even though she's wearing an orthotic. That is the importance of doing your up the chain exercises if you have foot pronation flat-footedness.